Alrighty guys, here's all the stuff we pulled out of the attic. Have the, the insulator there. There's the uh, the tins. There's the old acorn stoves and ranges ruler. There's the uh, Mason's patented 1858 jar. Economy trademark food jar. Don't have one of those, so that's cool to get. There's the Thompson's Dairy milk bottle. The old cheese grater. There's some granite ware teapot. And uh, here's the Green Castle Sanitary Dairy Milk Bottle. Very nice, mint shape. There's the unknown green quart. And uh, here we have the thimble. And here's, I believe it's silver. Silver handle, it looks like to a keg of some sort. Pretty nice find. And uh, an old wooden, wooden thing there. That's man-made, carved. And uh, there's the unembossed milk bottles. Unbossed med, some old uh, blacksmith's nails, and uh, the old eight o'clock coffee wrapper. So, and I found out this was not a honest uh, Scotch snuff. It was a Clark's Honest Square. It looked like a, a type of pastry, and uh, got twenty-four for five cents. Have some elves on it, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice find. Have an old wooden handle. There's a lever, a wooden lever there, and uh, there's the old roller from Fansburg, PA. That's a nice find. There's the TH Nevin Company, leads colors, etc. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's, that's another great find. And uh, here's the old trunk, and it has our uh, screen strainer in it. So, and also we thought we had a junky crate up there, but when we dusted it off, it was actually a number 50 Sears and Roebuck Company, Philadelphia, PA. Uh, you guys have probably heard of the Sears and Roebuck catalog. Well, this was 18, 1900s, probably a crate where they delivered their products to, to the people in the town of Fannetsburg. So, yeah, just some great stuff.